Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum. You are listening to Malik Shahzaib and in this video we will create stick hero game developed by Vido. For so first of all, let me tell you what is happening in this game. You can also join me on Facebook. My Facebook page link is in description. So in this game there is a boy who loves traveling from one tower to next tower. He has a magical stick which grows when you tap on this screen. For example, you can when he moves from one tower to next tower, this score gets incremented. For example, let me show you. You can see this is the boy. These black rocks are the towers. And here, when the user clicks on the screen, when taps on the screen, his stick is growing. And the boy moves from one tower to next tower. Here you can see that. And when the stick does not fall on the tower, the game hours. You can see here. The stick does not fall and game is over. So this is the game we will create in this tutorial series i hope if you are beginner you will learn a lot of things so let's get started so we will create this game in unity first of all open unity so we are opening unity so unity is opening after that create a new project name it stick hero game and you have to click on create project so first of all create folders you can click on here assets create and folder name it prefabs we create folders in our game because it reduces complexity we will keep these our scenes in scenes folder we will keep scene prefabs in prefabs folder we will keep the materials in materials folder so that's why we are creating different folders it will reduce uh, complexity okay so prefabs material next we will create a folder scenes we will keep the scenes in this folder and next we will create a new folder name as script and we will keep all the scripts coding files in this folder clear after that you have to click on file and then save scene okay click on scenes folder and now save your scene so name it gameplay Okay, and press enter. So now you can see in the scenes folder your scene has been uh, saved, and you can see the name of this scene is gameplay here. Clear? Next, we will set aspect ratio of our game. You know, our game is portrait, so we will set the free aspect ratio to portrait. So click on free aspect. You can see the plus symbol here. Click on it, and you have to change its type type to aspect ratio. Clear? And then here three should be the width and 4 should be the height and click on ok and now you can see the portrait aspect ratio has been set clear next we will create these towers you can see the black towers the player moves from one tower to next tower so for towers we have to click on create 3d object and we have to choose quad click on quad and reset click on right click here and click reset its position has been resetted clear okay now we have to like uh, change the position of the game tab like this and click on 2d scene okay and we have we want the its position like tower in uh, in the game okay click on this tool okay and increase its size you can see its size has been increased this one and do like this sorry my laptop battery is getting low so yeah now our first tower has been almost created so we need to adjust its size our first tower has been created change its name to tower one okay because there will be a lot of towers in our game tower one and duplicate this tower control d and then click on this tool and bring it to the right so uh, this is our tower so now we can position our game uh, tab again like it was before okay so this is the first tower and this is the second tower you can see uh, in game the towers are black so if we want to uh, change the color of the towers click on right click on the materials folder click on create and we will create a new folder you know for creating the uh, objects in unity we create sorry for coloring the objects in unity we create materials and then apply this material to that object so now we have created a material click uh, rename it black and click on this material and uh, you can see this color albedo click here and change its color to black now you can see this color has been changed to black 
click select both these towers and here you can see in the mesh renderer component expand this material and assign this material to here so now you can see the towers has been changed to black so you can see our towers has been changed to black color but it is not full black pure black as in original game if you want it full black click on both towers and expand this here and you can see this subtract a specular and then change it to black you can see the, the towers are blacked i don't like it full black i want it to be like this this one looks better i think okay if you want it pure black then you can change this specular to pure black okay so next i think it's time to create background and player in our game for that purpose i have put the link of this astic hero assets uh, zip file in the description of this video you can download it from that and right click here and you can see i have downloaded winrar software you need to extract this software for that purpose you need winrar software so right click on this folder and on this zip file and click on extract here so you can see the file has been extracted right click on this folder and click on copy now go to your unity project right click on assets and right uh, click on show in explorer so click on assets and now you have to paste this file in here and now go to the unity project now you can see the uh, assets are importing into the our unity project game so now assets have been imported in our game you can see here stick hero assets now you go to this folder stick hero assets is uh, stick hero assets and click on images and here these are two images select both of these images and change its texture type to sprite okay and then click on apply so now these both images have been changed to sprites and next we need to click on this image and drag to the hierarchy tab here you can see and now you can see this is our character we need to change its uh, name so its name we have changed its name to player and we need to scale it 0 0.05 okay and 0.05 on y axis and 0.05 on z axis next we need to change its position it should be like on this tower so we are changing its position on x axis and we need to change its like a little bit down so position it little bit down yeah i think it's perfect next we need to create a background in our game so right click on create uh, go to UI and then you have to choose the images here you can see okay and then right click on image and reset it click on canvas we need to change its setting um, render mode and then change it to world space next go to the scene tab and here is you know like image our image okay and here is our uh, character it here is our player we need to change we need to position this image at our character place okay so here we are changing its position and then change it to something like this okay so now look here this is our image we need to like change position to z axis something like uh, in backward direction yeah it's i think perfect okay so next uh, all we need to do is click on this image and drag this background to here sprite okay and next we need to change its width you can see the width of image is 1137 by 2048 so click on image and change its 1137 to 2048 clear and uh, the image is very large we need to scale it 0 0.01 and on y axis 0 0.01 and on z axis 0 0.01 i think the image is still very large 0 0.01 and 0 0.01 and 0 0.01 uh it, this is somehow that looks good and uh, we need to like adjust it somehow like this one we have set the background in our game and the character as well and the walls as well so next i want 
no i want to change the background of this uh, name of this background image so change it to background okay you can ask the graphic designer to design this background and character and all these images uh, sprites and assets for your game this is just uh, rough images to give you an idea how can you make this game okay okay next we sh i think we should adjust our background it should we should position it little bit down okay so here is canvas and here is our background we should position it little bit down okay is that okay yeah i think that's fine okay next we will create a stick as uh, this when user clicks on the screen this boy generates a magical stick it grows and then when it stabs out when it's point when user points out his finger from the screen the stick falls on the next tower so next we should create stick in our game for that purpose we have to click on create go to 3d object and then click on quad and name it stick after that right click here and reset it after that you can see here is our stick first of all you can see this stick in original game is of black color we should color it so go to click on materials folder here is it we have already created black color black material so just drag on here and you can see this stick has been changed to black color we should position it and then we need to scale it okay so we are positioning positioning it here our stick has been positioned now we should change it on x axis yeah it should 0.1 now you can see this is our stick and click on this stick this is our character we should yeah a little bit and something like this yeah so this is our stick okay when user will click on the screen this screen will grow how this will achieve this will be achieved by creating a script so click on player and click on add component click on new script and you have to click on uh, write it name it player and create an add this will create a player script and attach to the player component sorry player object and uh, before writing the code we should also create background music so create an object and name it background underscore sound okay and add, add a component audio source audio source and then we have to find the sound that we have imported in stick hero assets uh, the name of this sound is bg underscore city okay and drag this sound to this audio source audio clip okay and you should click on play on awake and you should click on a uh, loop okay and then now when we play the game the sound will start playing okay it's time to create uh, write code for this stick when we click on the screen the stick should grow so click on player and click here and click edit script now our, our player script will open so first of all we have to uh, create an object um, public game object and uh, it name it stick save it and now write code if input dot get mouse button and zero zero means left click okay and uh, we should increase the size of the stick on y axis okay let me show you look here is our script sorry here is our stick object and this is scale if we increase the scale on y axis it will grow in this direction let me show you click on stick and here it is y axis so increase size you can see the, when we are increasing size on y axis it's working perfect as in original game so go to the script and here create an uh, of 3d vector object let's pose its v and uh, store the transform dot local scale in this uh, local scale of stick in this vector object now v dot y is equal to v dot y plus 0.1 f and then we should assign the scale of the object 
to this variable okay so now what will happen this is the local scale of this stick object we are storing this local scale of the object in 3d v object and in the second line we are increasing the size of y axis of this object by 0.1 value and then we are storing the new scale of the stick in this line okay so now save the script go back to the unity and click on the player object and pass this stick object to the player script okay so now we should play our game and see uh, does this stick grows and what about the background music now you can see the background music is playing and if we tap on the screen the stick is growing next what we should add we should add like when we tap on the screen we should add the sound of the stick growing okay it will look more interesting okay so we should like uh, public an audio source okay yeah audio source and uh, uh, stick underscore grow okay and next we should stick underscore grow dot play it will play the stick sound or what should happen when we left the left mouse button this sound should stop playing and the size of this uh, stick will also stop increasing okay so for that we should write code here if input dot get mouse button up it means that we have released the mouse button and the sound should stop stick underscore grow dot stop okay so now sound will stop playing so save this and back to your project and next we should add a, this uh, audio source component to our stick object so click on stick object click here add component audio source and search here grow this is the sound that is in the stick hero asset so drag this sound here and click on play not uh, untick play on awake and click on loop okay okay so now play the game and let's see how our game looks like oh there is an error what does it says it says unassigned reference it means that we have not assigned the uh, audio stick gross sound so we should drag this object here and reset and play again so now you can see if we click on this screen the sound of this stick is playing and this stick is also growing in size and background is running we have set it the background towers and character in the next video what will happen we will do if we tap up the screen if we release the mouse button this stick will fall on the next tower if it uh, collides with the next tower if the character will the player will this boy will run to this tower come to this tower if our stick does not uh, collide with this tower then what will happen the game will over okay so that's it for this tutorial we will work more for the next videos so that's it for this tutorial see you in the next video take care allah